want to get to uh, this notion of the cancel culture coming to the Pentagon. And in particular, I gather we're talking about the fact that uh, the Congressional Progressive Caucus, the most far-right 97 members of the Democrats in uh, in Congress, say they will oppose the National Defense Authorization Act on the House floor unless the defense budget is meaningfully reduced, which they define as a cut of at least 10%. Is that what we need, uh, Jim Carafano, a cut in our defense spending? So to, to just give folks a backstory on that, so every year we do a bill called the National Defense Authorization Act. And basically what it does is it gives guidance to the Pentagon on all sorts of things. And then it also kind of lays out to the appropriators the level of funding that should be authorized for the, the Pentagon. Um, we've done one of these bills every year for, for many, many, many decades. Um, last week, in both the House and the Senate, the Progressive Caucus basically said, we should cut 10% from defense spending. Now, now the, this never came up, because, you know, they do months of hearings, readiness hearings. There's all kinds of motions in the committees. And, and then, you, you know, you go to the floor for any amendments. And this just came out of nowhere that all of a sudden we're going to cut 10%. Well, look, for, for decades, you know, I, I've been dealing with this issue and the left is always suspicious of defense. Well, how much, how, how, here's the fact. Here's the proof you need that much money. You know, we have, we have through the warrior effort to document all the defense. It was a question. We don't think we do it here every year. We do it next year. Yes, military strength. We have an objective partisan This is even military readiness. And, and th- that's what they demand from, from, you know, national security people is like, prove to us you need all this money. And then all of a sudden they walk in a week before the final bills are proposed and say, well, let's cut 10% because we're defunding the police. You know, we're, we're, we're defunding everything else. Let's just cut 10% and spend that money on, you know, wh- whatever liberal cause that we love. Well, you know, I, that got voted down soundly in the House. A- actually, a third of the Democrats actually voted against it. And it also got voted down in the Senate and Democrats voted against it. Because it literally, I think, was just literally part of the cancel culture, which is we just want to show that, you know, we hate everything. And, uh, and, and I, you know, I think it's, of course, ridiculous to play politics with the police. But now they're playing politics with national security just to send a political message. And it, to me, this is, uh, you know, I'll just say this. This is always troubling. When we look at national security and we say, well, it's just another political thing that we can fight over. I, I, I just think that is a disservice uh, to, to national security. It's a disservice to men in a uniform. And I think it's just, it shouldn't be beneath the Congress to play politics with defense. Well, it certainly, uh, it certainly ought to be. Uh, uh, although I would think that the, the main headline here, since this was obviously never going to happen, the main headline here to me is, uh, well, the uh, progressive caucus is not quite as powerful as they apparently thought they were. Well, you know, I, I'd like to say that, uh, I think also there are a lot of people who think that they can pull the election in their direction uh, and they don't want to, to scare off moderates. So they're, they're not willing to do something that's radical, but I guarantee, I really truly believe that if the Congress swung the other way, if the presidency had swung the other way and the administration came in and said, well, the 10% defense cut, they would have off on that. Do I believe that? they done it before. They did under administration. We did that all through the bomb year. We did a mandated ten percent in defense. And you know what happened? It devastated readiness. It slowed down modernization. It gave China an opportunity to leap forward. It gave Russia the belief that maybe the U.S. was weakening. You know, and we we and and it was devastating. And of course, investing in defense the last four years has changed all of that. And to me, it's just shocking that somebody says, well, let's just go back to a formula that we know for a fact will fail. And there was a congressman who actually said, let's just cut the defense budget and see what happens. Which is kind of like... And see what happens? Yeah, let's just get rid of the fire department and see what happens if there's a fire. I mean, literally, that was said on the floor of Congress. Well, I, I I would like to say that 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 shocks me. But these days, it's pretty hard to shock me. I, I I just assume, in a nation of a third of a billion people, there are a few stupid people out there. What I do not assume is that we put them in positions of authority.